Check out that horn, huh? This is a, an incredible trumpet made by our shop foreman and our shop manager, Kyle Lambert, who owns the Kansas City Trumpet Company. I'm gonna tell you a little bit more about this incredible presentation model, one of a kind. Stay tuned to this video. Thanks for watching. Hey everybody, how you doing? It's Trent Austin from Austin Custom Brass. I hope you're having a fantastic day. I am, I get to play this beautiful horn. Um, it is just always a treat to play Kyle's new horns. In case you didn't know, he started up his own company. Uh, he does that off hours. It's called the Kansas City Trumpet Company, KCTC. And he's making some really incredible trumpets. This horn is his presentation model. He took it to TMEA to show off his build and he's going to sell it. Now, it is listed on the website. Please make sure to look in the description of our YouTube videos that always will be there. There'll be a link in any video you see to our um, shop page. This horn has got a ton of great features. So let's first talk about a few of them. One, it's got his biggie bell. This bell is a five and a half inch one piece bell made here in the United States. This is made by Miles O'Malley in Chicago. And this is a completely unique taper. Um, no other manufacturer has this taper. It's very large, you can see, and it flares out. Um, this has also been beautifully, let me see if I can zoom in here because this horn is just stunning. This has been beautifully engraved by Daryl at BAC. So this has got a lot of this has got a lot of elements on this horn that are just so stunning. Look at that engraving, beautifully hand engraved. This is a yellow brass bell. Normally he makes this bell in red brass, which I actually like the yellow brass more. It gives you a larger sound profile and a lot more uh, on the color spectrum. Um, custom inlays, which he made. Let me see if I can get the yeah. So he made those inlays. This has got an Adams valve block. You can see it's an Adams valve block, so a very high quality valve block. A lot of manufacturers are using Chinese or Taiwanese valve blocks, not here. This is a world-class valve block. It's got a um, single braced slide with a Saturn water key. And the newest feature that he, it, he has a whole new lead pipe. Now, look, one thing I'll tell you about in just a second, but this is a pure sterling sheet sterling lead pipe, which is really, really challenging to make. And it's super fun because it gives you a lot of tonal spectrum options. And, and um, so nickel braces here, cast, uh, beautiful horn, no dump key on the third slide. And like I said, the single Saturn water key. It's been uh, beautifully lacquered also by our friends in Kansas City at Heritage Music Repair. So it's a really a collaborative effort on this trumpet. Kyle assembled it, adjusted the lead pipe, fine tuned it, play tested. He did all the, the build on this horn and it is stunning. Now this mouthpiece goes in quite a ways. He, uh, this is his new receiver and it's quite robust. So it really centers the response you will need to just double check if your mouthpiece fits. Bach trumpet mouthpieces are ACB mouthpieces, and this is a short shank ACB, will go in nicely. This is a regular sleeved ACB, and you can see it goes in nicely as well. Um, pieces like Monet's and things like that might not fit, so you'll need to reach out to Kyle. I know he's, um, or we're in the works of making a mouthpiece to fit this uh, uh, receiver perfectly. So, let's play. The horn is going to have a dark sound, almost like a cornetti sound, a thick, rich, warm sound. This is an unedited microphone. Let me switch it up and play for you.
has that creaminess, that thickness, that richness. It's so beautiful. Playing a ballad on this horn is a joy. check out some of the arpeggios and range on this horn. This is, uh, by the way, our new, in our new standard series, our 2CS. So it's like a Mount Vernon 3. Our 2 line in the new standard series is all based on our old Mount Vernon 3C. We wanted to rename it because it makes a lot more sense. It's not really a 3C. The Mount Vernon 3C is a little larger. And when I put my lead mouthpiece in, it actually gets fairly bright. Now, would I use this to play a four-hour job playing lead trumpet? No. This is a dream soloist's horn. It has this thickness and richness that you don't get in, like, a Calecchio, for instance. Uh, but it's really amazing. It's, it does have more versatil versatility, especially because the bell isn't that bronze bell that he sometimes uses on the other two bells. Let me, uh, let me, uh, play, uh, let me play some bebop on it. so much fun. And now if I put my lead mouthpiece, which is my TAZ mouthpiece in this, it will, it will actually get really bright, but very broad. Let me just turn my mic down. Sorry, it's peaking a little bit. to play a, a bright mouthpiece, it would do that. Just a work of art, amazing horn. Kyle's doing incredible work. He also can make you a custom horn, so reach out to him. I'll put his email in this video description, and please, you know, support Kyle's new endeavor, which we're so proud to be the exclusive sellers of the Kansas City Trumpet Company's instruments. Work of art. Grab it today for a great price at ACB. Thanks so much. Please hit that subscribe button. Stay up to date with us. Keep on keeping on. Cheers.